Hello, Keith Ruck here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, today we are working on my little Famco Arbor Press. This is a little restoration project that I worked on a while back and had a couple little things on it that just weren't quite finished and I decided, you know what? We need to get this thing knocked out. I've got a little punch list over here of some smaller things in the shop that I've been trying to get wrapped up out here and this is one of them. So uh, what I'm gonna be working on today is there is a pin up here in the top of this thing. Uh, this pin right here and if you look it kind of goes in there it slides in and out and it engages this little ratchet lever right here and right now with the pin on this side when you pull down on the handle it kind of gives a double action on this thing so it's get kind of puts it into heavy duty mode there is a second pin that comes in from this side and basically you push this one out, put the other one in, and when you do that, this whole thing, you don't get that compound action, it's just kind of a singular action. So if you're uh, pressing something that's not quite as heavy duty, you can just use this side over here. Uh, when you get into something that needs a little bit extra force, you go in on this side. Uh, like with most mechanical advantages, you know, the, when you're on a lighter one, you have less motion to get that pressure. So basically when you pull it up, when it's coming in from this side, you get twice the, the length of stroke per pull on the handle coming in on the compound mode. Uh, you get half the distance moved down, but you get twice the pressure. So for most jobs, you can do it just in the regular mode. Problem I have is when I got this, that pin was missing. So fairly simple job. We're just gonna turn a pin, nothing real fancy here. It's a one inch piece of stock and uh, I've got a piece, let me see where it's at. So here's just a piece of one inch metal I have laying around the shop. Kind of show how this works. Pin comes in from this side, you push that one out, comes in, and now when we press, you raise that up, you get a nice stroke. Pull this one out, push this one in, and now when you pull it, you get that compound stroke. So anyway, we're going to turn this piece of metal into a pin and the diameter is already correct. You saw it go in. I just basically need to turn this end on it, finish that up, make it where it's not a cut. On this end, do the same thing, turn it out. But I want to put a little uh, kind of a little knob on the end to make it easier to pull in and out, kind of looking something along the lines of what we have on the other side. So again, fairly simple, straightforward project. Let's go over to the lathe and do some cutting and turn this into a nice pin. So I'm over here on the Monarch 16 inch lathe. We're gonna be using this uh, machine for this job today. I'm gonna to come in here. Let me get a little bit more speed going here. All right, let's come in here and uh, face off this side. I need to probably set my cutter height for some of uh, needs to go down just a touch. A little bit more. And I think we can probably just cut across this now that I got my center height set a little bit better. All right, that looks good. Come in here now and just put a little chamfer on that edge. Make it a little bit easier to get started on. Flip this around. Get this side faced off. Just feeding this in by hand. Okay. 
nice little chamfer on this again. That's good. All right, I got a cutter in here, and what I'm wanting to do is kind of just uh, plunge in. I'm after a knob here, and we're going to try to and relieve some of this. Trying to create a little bit of relief in there for a knob to grab a hold of. Let me change cutters. And I needed a angle a cutter with a taper back there. I didn't have a carve out anything, so I just ground up something with an angle on it there. Out of some high speed steel real quick. And I'm just trying to put a nice little taper on there. Getting a little bit of chatter. Tell you what. I'm going to choke this up in the chuck a little bit. I don't have quite as much overhang. Hopefully that'll help some with that chatter. Maybe not. surface finish doesn't look bad so uh, I can live with that I think what I'm going to do is just take a file now and just kind of just kind of roll those edges over hit this with the file as well just to kind of clean that chatter out. You know what? I am satisfied with that. That gives me something to grip a hold of there, which is all I'm after. So let's see, next thing I want to do is I'm going to move this back out a little bit, about halfway. And I'm just going to take a little bit of emery cloth here and just smooth it up. Get any rust and whatever off of that. We can go ahead and get this in while we're at it. Polish it up. Get everything nice and smooth. it around so I can get that other end polished up a little bit. And just like that, we've got a new pin. Let's go try it out. Pin comes in nice. I'm gonna pull this pin out, push this pin in, and boom. Quick, easy job. Sometimes it's the easiest jobs that take forever to get done. <laughs> but uh Nice little new pin there. That's got that problem fixed, so we're good to go. Well, there you go. Like I said, a nice little quick lathe job. Didn't take no time at all, uh, but sometimes it's like I said, these little jobs that 
can drag on and drag on and drag on, and that seemed to be the case here. But uh, next time we go to use the press, I've got both modes. I've got both the compound mode and the single action mode uh, to do whatever pressing we need to do. And the main reason I mentioned that is just going to speed things up a little bit because most of the times I don't need all that tonnage. I need just to get something pressed in and out quickly. And uh, this will get the job done a little bit faster, a little bit easier. So there you go. Quick job over on the Monarch lathe. That'll be a wrap, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Please leave comments if you like. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll catch you on the next video.